Well, I'll tell you what, we are sitting in one of the, if I use the term Rob, sexiest dang boats I've been in in a long time. It's even got a side door. Wow. It's a door. <laughs> you don't have to climb over, you can right. just fall right out. Yeah. Welcome to Parks Marina, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It's Okaboji Market Update with myself, Jimmy McLenz, and Rob Hinn. We're so glad that they let us come in here and kind of have a little fun. Uh, we are looking at a possible early spring. Mm -hmm. If you want to call it spring, yep. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Well, I know, but you know, it's like what Butch says, there's two seasons. There's boating season, and then there's not boating season. Hey. And we're getting close to boating season. <laughs> That's a fact. And Rob, you, you uh, yourself, is a, he's a big boater. He's oh, got, boy. A, you got a nice uh, uh, carver over there uh, yeah, uh, at OBW. Just anything that floats is cool. You bet. You know? so, always a lot of fun going over there, hanging out with Rob and what they call the cruiser deck, and uh, a lot of great people there that Parks Marina works with. Speaking of Parks Marina and all their properties, mm -hmm. uh, you have Okaboji Boat Works, which yeah. is referred to as this OBW, a yep. uh, little acronym there for you. Uh, and then they've also got the Emporium. Yep. All of those businesses in here. Yeah, that's what's the gardens in there. And then mm -hmm. and then there's some old uh, businesses that have been in there for years, like the Animal House, the uh, Tea Galaxy, I think. And then there's some newer ones that go in there. But there's, uh, Butch owns all those. Yeah, the, the history is incredible in there. I oh, mean, it's gosh. really. Uh, I think it's 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 tried to burn itself down a number of times. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, speaking of which, the gardens is currently closed right now. It will open March 13th, and then they'll have their St. Patty's Day celebration. Sure, that's about when it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's about there. Sure. Pretty close. I'm yeah. Irish. I know this. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> also, Snappers right over here is open year round, so you mm -hmm. can always get usually lunch and dinner there as well. So, uh, all the Parks Marina properties. Ready? To, they're getting ready to go. They are buzzing. Uh, you know, when that when that water breaks, oh, Rob. Oh boy. Our ice breaks. Yeah, they're, they're everybody will be rocking and rolling. <laughs> so it's go it's go time <laughs> right here in the Iowa Great Lakes. So this beautiful R33, ladies and gentlemen, is just a I gorgeous. Yeah. You got uh, cabins on each side here. There's mm -hmm. one over here, and then uh, another one right over here. Um, this just. Is mm -hmm. what they what they can put in a boat anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable in 30, oh, it's, 33 feet. It's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, uh, the, the thing has just got so much mm -hmm. style and so much room. Uh, you can hold just about, I don't know, probably 15 people in this. Oh, thing. yeah. Comfortably. And, yeah, and plus do a little bit of skiing if you wanted to. It's got that kind of power. It's got twin oh. screw. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, a lot, of fun to, a lot of fun to drive. And it's got the, uh, you know, auto, well, it's got all the stuff that automatically. It's, just, it's so it, crazy, crazy, it, Jimmy, consider, to think that... Uh, you buy a boat anymore these days, and it's been out there for a while. They don't have any gauges. Yeah. No gauges. It's all yeah. computer screen. It's Yeah, it's two big screens right here. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Pretty, it's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. <laughs> and then you got the deck up top here. Yeah. And most of these will tip forward for going underneath the bridge. Yeah. Uh, just make sure you check out one of the fine salesmen right here. A uh, couple of great guys. you got Chad Miner here. Uh, you've also got Dan Delperdang. We could probably um, get him out here if we started this up real quick. Oh, yeah. I think they'd come running. <laughs> I think I hit the key here and it'll beep. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll shake him up real good. Oh, boy. So, let's get in a little market update, talk a little real estate. Rob, uh, interest rates, obviously, are always the hottest topic there is they are and inventory and inventory inventory is still um, low like you said mm -hmm. uh, some of the experts which you know we listen to experts on both uh, ends of the perspective whether it's good or bad um, uh, the ones that we listen to expert wise uh, we, well we listen to more often than than most are saying that we might get into that five percent range by uh, May June mm -hmm. uh, some say a little bit maybe toward the end of the year but there's some that are saying we could get into the upper fives which basically tells us, uh, check your with your lender. If yep. you're in that buying mode, don't yeah. sit there and watch the news. Go ask yeah. your lender. They'll yeah. give you the facts. They will give you the facts, not not the media, for yep. crying out loud. <laughs> because we get we get emails all the time from mm -hmm. all of our, our financial institutions that are locally and some not so local that mm -hmm. uh, kind of give us an idea of what they're offering. And there's yeah. programs out there. Yeah, there so certainly is. Be right there at 6% right now with a couple of different mm -hmm. banks that I've got emails from. Yeah. So. And, you know, and those rates here lately have been bouncing, which is kind of an odd how much they've been bouncing mm -hmm. lately from that close to 6 and an eighth up to 6 and 7 seven eights but still you know a lot of that is just what they're throwing out at you and depending on what your score is and who you are and, and uh, how well of a borrower you are those you know can be somewhat negotiable mm -hmm. maybe so absolutely and inventory wise uh, you know folks homes are still moving yep. uh, and the, uh, you see a lot of stuff and sometimes 
uh, media can be a little bit uh, false in oh, how yeah. they're pumping things up and in reality uh, I like to be a realist I like to look at the numbers mm -hmm. and right now homes are still moving yep. but they're not at that crazy pace that we had two years ago yeah. uh, and prices are leveling off yeah. so they're still appreciating but mm -hmm. they're just not appreciating as fast as they were a couple years ago um, you know the other thing they're saying too, Jimmy is uh, foreclosure rates well yeah foreclosure rates are up but they're still lower than they were before the pandemic mm -hmm. by quite a bit. So don't let the, the media skew you that way as well. Absolutely. So I've seen a lot of that where, and we talked about this folks probably two, three years ago when we started doing videos like this, uh, this foreclosure thing kept coming up, kept coming up. Yeah. And what it turned into was maybe, I don't even know, 3% of the population it wasn't in, much. In, in Iowa. And, and God bless, it's, it's unfortunate it happened. Yep. Yep. But it really wasn't as big. They were predicting 40, 50%. Just yeah. crazy numbers. It, they and, were. And it didn't even come close to that. So The, the people that were that did the forbearance and things like that, they, they took that money and did the right things with it. Mm -hmm. Not like they did back in 6, 8, 9, and 10, where you were just borrowing money to for vacations and toys mm -hmm. and stuff like that. This time around, which was a bad pandemic, uh, but the people did the right things with the money that they got. You bet. So there you go, folks, a little bit of a nutshell of everything yep. that we see locally and a little bit of everything that we see nationally. So kind of take a little bit of everything. So yep. we appreciate you letting us uh, spend some time with you here. We also appreciate Parks Marina for letting us come up in here and sit in this beautiful yep. boat. So yep. most men are like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think the female form is like, well, what's that doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a shop, it's just cool. <laughs> so Although I do know a lot of females who can drive boats better than guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. There's some pretty salty salty women out there that yeah. can make it happen. So yeah. I'm playing, I'm, it's one of my little side gigs that I get to do for Parks Marina and Okoboji Boat Works. I get to do a little driving for them. So mm -hmm. maybe someday they'll let me cruise this unit. <laughs> Highly unlikely. So. Thank you so much for joining us, biokaboji.com, where you gotta go. Also, all of our great information. Where, Rob? YouTube, man. Subscribe and smash that like button. You bet, a little Instagram, Snapchat. We do some TikTok, we have a lot of fun. Yep. So make sure you check us out, stop by, say hi, give us a call, whatever it takes, we're more than happy to visit with you. You so. betcha. And thanks, Sylvia, for putting all this stuff together. You bet, she's our producer. Sometimes she gets a little shot in the camera as well, so we really appreciate everything she does. So mm -hmm. I am Jimmy McLenz, and I'm all about you. I'm Rob Hinn, and say something nice to somebody. Thanks.